Dear friend, your salvation depends on what you do with the words of Christ in your life. It depends on you following Jesus Christ, the shepherd. It depends on you being guided by the Holy Spirit. Now, when I speak to many people, many professing Christians today, they reject the fact that they need to follow Jesus and obey his words. And they use many different doctrines, ideas that have been created by man in order to ignore the words of Jesus. But the foundation of salvation, dear friend, is Jesus Christ himself. He is the bread of life and his words are the words of eternal life. When you stand before Jesus, Jesus will look at whether you knew him, whether you truly followed him. He will know whether you truly was his sheep, were his sheep. If you weren't his sheep, if you just were living for yourself, if you went to church, if you followed some doctrine, that won't change anything because the sheep of Christ follow him every day. They have a fellowship with him. Today, I hear some Christians, for example, mention the saying. They say, we need to divide the word of truth. And what they mean by that is taking a pair of scissors and applying that to the Bible. They take some verses and they think that they can ignore the words of Jesus because of their doctrine. They take the verses in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Say They say that we are saved by grace and that everything else is works. Basically, they say that we don't need to do anything. And when Jesus says, for example, that we need to count the cost, when Jesus says, for example, whoever loves me obeys my commandments, then they ignore these words because these words don't fit with their doctrine, with the man-made doctrine that they were deceived with. The reason they are deceived is because they are not putting their foundation on the words of Jesus. You have to build everything on the words of Jesus. It is the words of Jesus that save, not the words of Paul. The words of Paul build on the foundation of the words of Jesus. But it is Jesus' words that will save you. Jesus says that whoever hears his words and keeps them, this is like one who dug deep and put his foundation on the rock. If you want to have security, you have to build your whole life on the words of Christ. If you don't know the words of Jesus, if you have never read the words of Jesus, then you can't have your foundation on the rock, dear friend. You're just building your safety on what you have learned from other men. And if these men are deceived, they will deceive you also. We heard Jesus say and talk about blind leaders of the blind. The blind cannot lead other people. They will all fall into the ditch, dear friends. So if you're not careful, if you don't build your whole life on the words of Jesus, then you are just bound to be deceived. Put your foundation on Jesus Christ, on his words. Follow Jesus, dear friend, and then you will have your foundation on the rock. Your house will not be shaken when there is a storm. And you will not be tossed around by every wind of doctrine that men come to you with. This is my advice to you, dear friend. Put your foundation on the rock. Jesus Christ is that rock. And may God bless you.